Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to add hyperlinks to your digital planners that you create in Keynote. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in Keynote, but you can use PowerPoint as well for this. But yeah, Keynote is the example that I'm gonna be using in today's video. Don't mind if I sound a bit groggy throughout the video, I'm currently recovering from a cold. Um, so yeah, just don't mind that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So what you'll need for this is Keynote. So I'm gonna go into Keynote now. And if you don't know what hyperlinks are, they allow you to touch on a certain area of a PDF and then it goes to a certain page or opens a certain link. As you can see, I created my presentation. It is just blank. I don't have anything in it. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna import my planner template. So I'm gonna go to the plus button here and go to photo or video. And then I'm just gonna choose the one I wanna use. So you can go either two ways with this. You can do all of this in Keynote, add this shape, add the tabs and everything in Keynote, or you can do this separately in a different app. Um, that will just determine whether you're gonna be using your tabs as the clickable surface or text. You'll see when we get to that, um, what I mean by that. But I did all this in um, Affinity Photo, but yeah, you can just add all this in Keynote yourself by clicking on this plus button here and then going to your shapes area. And then usually I people use this option here. So then you can easily just create your shapes or create your little tabs if you want to as well. Um, and then just edit that to your liking. But like I said, I already made mine in a different app. So what I'm gonna start off with is I'm just gonna be creating first off just my cover. So this is gonna be the cover for the template and then I'm gonna have all 12 months um, here at the side. So we're gonna have 12 slides additionally to the cover page and then in total that will be 13 slides. But first I'm gonna add the cover. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna click on this plus button add in this shape here and I'm gonna make it fit my cover that I have here. This paintbrush tool here is where you edit everything related to the object that you have. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to arrange and I'm just gonna make the corner radius a bit less rounded and then I'm gonna go to style and choose the fill and make it an image and then the image I'm just gonna upload from my image library. So then this will be my cover for my planner. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my text. So the text is gonna come here. So how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna click on this plus button here, click on text, and then just create the text that I want. So mine's gonna be January to December. I'm gonna set the font to Sunrise International. I'm gonna make it white, and then I'm just gonna rotate it a bit like so. Once I have that to position, I'm gonna copy this and then paste it and then just put in the next one, which is February. So I'm gonna do that throughout the all the months. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this page and then I'm gonna just delete the cover so that we have our blank canvas again. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and click on select object and then I'm gonna click select all and then I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to use three fingers and just drag it to pinch it together so that it copies it. And then I'm going to click done. Once you've selected and copied everything, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this um, paintbrush again. Then you'll see it opens up this view um, and it says slide and it says layout, background, um, and then edit slide layout. So I'm going to click on edit slide layout so that we can edit our master slide. So this is what it looks like. Don't let this intimidate you. All you need to do um, now is just on this first slide, click and delete everything that's on this slide. And then we paste what we just copied. So this is what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to duplicate this 12 times so that we have 13 slides in total um, and 12 blank slides. So one for each of the months. So now you can see I have 13 slides. Now I'm going to go back to edit slide layout and I'm going to link each of these text options to one of the slides. So January, you click on the text and then you click on link and then you say link to slide and it's going to be slide two. And then you're going to do that for each text box. Um, like I said, if you made your tabs in Keynote as well, um, then each will be an individual shape. And then you can add the link to the tabs or you can just do it the way I did it and make your planner in a different app and then just um, animate your text to, or link to your text so that it will basically do the same thing. I think sometimes tabs will just be easier than text um, to make sure you don't have to be too precise with where you're clicking because it's a whole tab. Um, but yeah, so you can either 
link to your tabs if you made that in Keynote or link to text that you made in Keynote. So either way, whichever one works best for you. But yeah, now I'm just going to go in and link every slide to the right text. And once I'm done with that, you'll see every one of these has this little blue arrow, which indicates that it is linked to a certain page. And once we're happy with our layout here, you can either add tabs here at the top as well. I know a lot of people do that as well. Um, so they have tabs on the side and at the top, depending on the design they have for their planner. But once you're done with that, you're going to click on done. And now because we linked those in the master slide, which is this section here, which says edit slide layout, it will now be the same for every single slide here. So you'll see every slide that I go to has these links um, that you can easily access now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add January to December on the correct page just so that you can clearly see when I'm tapping on January that it's going to the correct page. So now I have linked everything um, to its appropriate page. Um, as you can see, all the links are still here on every single slide. So now what I'm going to do to show you guys that this actually works is I'm actually going to export this to GoodNotes so that you can see how it will look when you're actually using it. So to export this, I'm just going to click on the export button here, click on PDF, and then just click on export. And then I'm going to go ahead and select um, GoodNotes here. So here we have our planner. Um, and now if I click on the January option, it will take me to January. If I click on August, it's going to take me to August. So it did animate the correct pages easily like that. And um, you can do this with ju not just tabs. You can even add more things to your designs. If you have different page templates, you can link those as well in your master slide or just on one of these slides if you don't want it to go throughout the entire planner. The reason for the master slide is because we want this to be the same on every single slide. Um, but yeah, if you create buttons in like a separate page, so if I wanted to create a button for a certain page layout, um, so say like a weekly layout, I can just click on the plus button here add in my shape that I want. I can go ahead and then link this shape also to a certain page, um, which will then just take you to whatever you have set it to. Um, so that's how you easily create a link within a certain page if you don't want it going through your entire document. Um, so yeah, that's also something you can do. Um, but that's how you add hyperlinks to your PDFs. I hope this helped you guys out, maybe learn something new. Okay, so that is how you add hyperlinks to your digital planner um, in Keynote. I hope this helped you guys out and you could follow along easily. This is something that I really wanted to kind of understand. And uh, once I had the grasp of it, I thought maybe this would help some of you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Um, if you have any other types of videos like this that you would like to see from me. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iPad related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!